A highly anticipated speech after the unprecedented device attacks in Lebanon on Tuesday and Wednesday. The leader of Hezbollah firmly blamed Israel for the attacks. How can this criminal act be characterized? It's nothing but a terrorist act. It's nothing but a massacre. And this is the word that we're going to adopt, massacre, to be added to the Israeli enemy's crimes and massacres perpetrated over decades. But he was also defiant, saying Israel's objective to return its residents to the north, people who fled after hostilities broke out between Hezbollah and Israel, had failed. Israel will not be able to have illegal Israeli settlers return to the north. Israel will not be able to enable illegal settlers to come back to their colonies. The only way, I reiterate what I said on the 8th of October, and as we're about to mark one year in the battle, the only way is to stop the war on Gaza and subsequently on the occupied West Bank. Here in Beirut and across Lebanon, people are scared. They are calling Tuesday and Wednesday's device attack as an act of terrorism because so many civilians had been injured and they were injured across Lebanon, far from where the fighting between Hezbollah and Israel has largely been concentrated across that border. Can we expect anything good from Israel? Children are being killed. Their parents had small devices and they were detonated. Of course we're scared. My children, my siblings' children, all of us. Who can feel safe in this situation? We have 5,000 injured in just two days. This isn't a small matter, it's war. Who can be secure in their phone now? Nasrallah didn't give any concrete details of what might come next. Israel, however, has been clear. It will return residents to northern Israel. Hezbollah has also been clear. That can happen if there is an end to the war on Gaza. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Beirut. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.